CustomTacticals.com here, and uh, we're looking at uh, a series of knives, or like a rather a bunch of knives from uh, Canadian knife maker James McGowan. James has uh, been uh, in the magazines a lot lately because of his uh, his recent uh, fixed blade knife, the Mac One M A K One. Um, James is a firefighter, and he's uh, from Ontario, and he developed the uh, the knife as, as a, a tool for firefighters and other sort of emergency type personnel and um, that's brought him to uh, uh, fame so to speak um, but uh, I picked up a few knives from him at the CKG show um, every year I go there and uh, I usually try to get one thing from him at least and um, I picked the first knife I picked up from James was this uh, this hunter and it's uh, <clears throat> it's mammoth ivory with uh, these uh, mosaic bolsters and uh, a G10 bolster in the front well sorry mosaic pins and a G10 bolster in the front and uh, they're dovetailed as you can see there there's a black spacer I'm not sure if you can see that right there between the Played in the the ivory, and the ivory is pretty nice. And this this knife has a, a convex primary grind, and the secondary bevel is is just a standard. But it's it's pretty neat because there is a there is a convex primary grind on it, and it's signed by James Canada. Fits really good in the hand. His style has changed quite a bit now. If you go, if if you ever see his table, you're not you're not going to see anything like this on the table anymore. Um, but you'll still see this knife on his web page, which doesn't get updated too often. And uh, this isn't a very big knife; it's pretty small. The blade length is about just over three inches. So. The second knife I ever picked up from James was uh, this guy here, this little Japanese style knife. And he sells these knives for, for not a lot of money uh, at his tables and the shows. He just has, he has a bunch of them in there that are just sort of like little one-offs that he makes. And um, this one has uh, epoxy filled, sort of like a, almost like a, a rope here with uh, the snake skin underneath it. And the snakeskin was also used on, on, on one of the, the collaboration knives that the CKG auctioned, uh, raffled out at the uh, end of the show. So he had some remainder left from making the sheath and he used it on this knife here. This side on the top. So. And all these knives came with like sheaths. The, the sheath that came with this guy here actually was really thick. Um, but uh, it's a uh, thick leather, sorry. And the the rest of the knives here uh, have um, Kydex sheaths along with this one here. I don't have the sheaths here in, to shoot in the video. The next knife I picked up from James, was, which was the next year that I went to the the CKG show, is this little Kiridashi here. And uh, I really like this knife. Um, really pointy. Uh, it's only uh, it's chisel ground like any Kiridashis are. Um, a steel on, on, on this, actually I should mention steel, steel on this first one here is, uh, 154, uh, sorry, ATS, uh, ATS 134, and on this one it's 154CM, and this one is 154CM as well. This one's really thick. Let's see. And the next year from, from, uh, James, I never picked up any knives. I just got this little Strider Spanner um, wrench that's made of uh, titanium and it's peat colored as you can see and has some texturing done to it. Neat little thing. <coughs> Excuse me. And then <coughs> the, I, well, the last thing I've gotten from James was actually not from James directly. I got it from Norman, a friend of mine, who's uh, who's who always has something on the go with James. He's always getting something made or a sheet done. And one of the custom pieces that he asked James to do for him was this little guy here. And this is 154CM as well. And um, it's a little custom design that he uh, 
designed and then sent to James to get made to get cut and ground. Really neat, really neat little idea here. It's heat colored as you can see, and uh, it's ground across here, here, and here. It's like it's almost like a little mini cleaver, and uh, I'm pull it up and hold it here. Pretty sweet. It's, this one's not signed by James. I don't think any of the custom pieces he ever got done were signed, but uh, very cool. It was a Christmas present from Norman, and I really appreciate it when he sent it to me. It's a unique love knife that you're never going to see anywhere else. So, hope you enjoy the little mini video review of James knives here, and I uh, look forward to seeing him at the Blade Show and other stuff like that because uh, he probably will be there this year. All right, hope you enjoyed it.